There is no way in hell I am going to vote for Kamala Harris. Once again, I'm not gonna disparage her. I'm a black man. I respect black women. And I will never ever disparage her person. But there is no way in hell I would ever vote for Kamala Harris. Will Kamala Harris be able to get enough of the black vote in this election? A lot of people do not think so, especially black men. So in this video, I wanna break it all down. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Devore Darken Show, and I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe so you can push this video out to more people just like you and me. Now, Kamala Harris, of course, is running for president, and one of the biggest questions that still remains is, will she get enough of the black vote that will help her win this election? Because back in 2020, she did not get a lot of support from black people. Now, before I go any further, let me play the first clip. But there is no way in hell I would ever vote for Kamala Harris. That's just a no-go right there. Primary reason is she has been reckless and irresponsible. She was in charge of the border and she left us open to danger and a whole host of other issues and solid logical reasons why I cannot in good conscience allow her to California, my America. I won't do that. I'm gonna be retired one of these days and I need a safe place in America to go. And if she wins the White House, I believe America's gonna turn into a rolling dumpster fire in a dry forest, without question. That's why. Okay, so you've seen that. That is Dion Joseph, which is a police officer, and he's making his case that he would never vote for Kamala Harris strictly based on policies. And that's the point I wanna to make to you guys just right up front right now. One of the biggest reasons why she might not get as many black people as she would want to get in order to win this election is because there's a lot of black people that are seeing these policies are not working for us. For example, there are a lot of black people that do live conservative lifestyles. There's a good percentage of the black community that does not believe in liberal policies. They just don't. Uh, now, an example of that is immigration. There's a lot of black people that do not believe allowing 10 million people to cross over the border is actually in the best interest of black people. And how do we know this to be true? Because the Chicago citizens have already been complaining about Mayor Brandon Johnson. This is a guy where he's almost worse than Larry Lightfoot, who was the last mayor. Crime has continued to rise in Chicago. The resources for the black community in Chicago have been diverted to migrants. For an example, funds that were supposed to build educational centers for the black community was now being used to house migrants. This is an example of a liberal policy that black people are not going to tolerate. That's just what it is. And he also talked about California. Now, I believe this is a theory of mine. Most people in the nation do not like California. They like going on a vacation. They want to go check out the weather. They may want to go to Disneyland. But that's as far as it goes because they know California is a dumpster fire. They do not want those progressive policies taking over America. We have to understand something about California. I live in California. California is the most progressive state in the country and it is not close and they and they celebrate it. They just passed one where they now are banning schools from notifying parents if the children want to change their pronouns or their gender identity. They no longer have to tell the parents. That is a crazy policy. That is a progressive policy. So that's why there's going to be black people out there who are not going to tolerate this. So that brings me to this clip. We uh, old, we old, so baby. Let's go. Man. Thank you, Kevin. Just not, just new, but we old. <laughs> we <can't be> old. <laughs> hey, man, oldness is greatness, you know? You already anyway, know. I don't think America is ready. I don't think America is ready for a female president. You know what? I'm a black man, and I absolutely do not want another... Uh, Democratic president in there. I think we should give the Republicans another try. There's a lot of agendas that 
the, 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 Dem- the Democratic Party has kind of put in, into place that I don't support. I think they're destroying the black man. They're destroying the black family. I think they're ruining our country. And if you're living in New York like I am, man, this place is a financial nightmare, not to mention crime. I think if we put Trump back in there, man, it's going to be amazing. Kamala cannot do what he's going to do to bring this country back to where it needs to be. And this is not a race thing because that's the number one thing they like to say when they talk about Trump and how he's a criminal and blah, 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 blah. I don't think any of that matters. His policies what we need to focus on, and he's going to get us back where we need to go. Kamala is not ready. Okay, so you guys seen that. And in that clip, someone who's young is stating the obvious. He is even going back to the policies, right? It's the Democrat policies that are not benefiting the black community. Now, for an example, let's actually take a careful look at this. I, I actually verified this the other day, and I thought this was very interesting. Let's take crime for an example. If you were to look up the top 10 most dangerous cities to live in, you know what they all have in common? The mayor of those top 10 cities, they are all Democrat. Eight out of the 10 are African American. Now, again, this is not a race thing. This is a policy thing. And the results are showing that cities that are Democrat run have higher crime than cities that are run by Republicans. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't a city out there where the Republican is the mayor and they have a crime problem. What I'm saying is if you were to compare the numbers, the top 10 safest cities with the top 10 most dangerous cities, the top 10 dangerous cities are all Democrat. The top 10 safest cities, six of them are Republican. And one is independent. Now, you could go Google it and do your own research and so you could see it for yourself. But I think, you know, I'm making my point. See, the problem going into this election for Kamala Harris is very simple. Number one, she has no policies to run on. OK, and black Americans see that they see that she has yet to make it very clear what policies are going to help the black community, because I just think after 60 years, there's a certain percentage of our community that's just fed up. They're tired of being told, hey, we are going to take care of the black community. We need the black vote. And of course, the classic statement from four years ago, hey, if you're still trying to figure out if you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. That's from our favorite president, right? Biden. So I digress. That young kid was spot on. It's all about the policies. It's all about the policies. How does immigration, the way that it is today, where you allow tens of millions of migrants to cross the border, how does that benefit the black community? How does raising taxes benefit the black community? How does being soft on crime improve or benefit the black community? How is allowing progressive policies to govern our education system help the black community? But this brings us to what also may happen on the flip side, where there are people in the black community that are not looking at policies. They are looking at her skin color and her gender. So let's check out that video. Let me ask you a question. Would you vote for it? Yeah. Why? I, I'm going to just be real honest with this. She's a black woman. Because yeah. they, they stack to, folk, not they, camp folk. Hey. I think it goes back to what somebody was saying, where it's not voting for someone, but majority will vote for oh, somebody okay. else just to... Just oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me mind this out. Let me mind this out. I is think it, majority... Is only because she a black woman? Yeah. You don't... Do you not see the... How that's how that's a bad idea? Elaborate. Okay, so we're in three proxy wars three. with some of the most powerful leaders in the world. She failed at the border in which we have an estimation of 15 to 20 million people illegally into this country. Yeah, so you guys seen that, right? And I'm telling you, there are people in the black community that are going to vote for her because of her gender and this is the point i want to make before i wrap this video up it, it, it's this i mean 
you, you're going to have two types of black people. OK, one, they're not going to vote for her whatsoever. I, I, it doesn't matter what type of campaign she runs and it doesn't matter what President Trump says. They will not vote for her. And it's because they see her policies a mile away and they know it's not in the best interest of what they have going on. That That's number one. OK, but then you have the second part of it where you are going to have people who are black voting for her because they believe that she is black. Now, I'm not going to make this video and keep harping on the fact that she's not. It doesn't matter. It's the perception that she is right. It does not matter that she's she is she isn't black. She looks black. So it's a perception thing. So as I wrap this video up, I want to say this to you guys. You have one or two choices. You can vote for this lady based on policy policies, which means you're not going to vote for her. Or you could vote for her based on identity politics, which is what the Democrats are running on. It's what they ran on in 2020. It's what they try to run on in 2016. This is the go to playbook for the Democrat Party. Let's use our someone's identity to get them out of their chair and to vote for us. Let's use their skin color. Yes, let's use their gender and let's use their worst insecurity to get them to vote. That's what the Democrats are going to do. And the Republicans, they're not going to do that. They're not going to tell you vote for Trump because you're white. Vote for Trump because you're a redneck. Vote for Trump because you're a coon. They're not going to do any of that. They're going to say vote for Trump if you want the border closed. You want uh, law and order, which means a reduced crime. You want safe streets, right? You want your kids not to be groomed and programmed to question what their gender is identity is you want prosperity you want the dollar to go f longer right i mean <laughs> i think you guys are getting my point so hey that is my mindset about this what about yours what do you guys think about the fact that there are certain black people who are not going to vote for her whatsoever it does not matter what she does and then there are black people that are going to vote for her because of her identity the perception that she is black and that she's a woman I want to hear your answers and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.